morning all god it's cold it's minus seven this morning <laughs> oh and we're out you can see it is look, look at the grass it is literally frosted over roads are extremely icy this morning but we're out test riding this for a customer so i have been given the job to take this out as i always do and give it a run so this is the new lex moto diablo new colors so we've got them two in with the two new colours. I've got another test ride to do later on the other colour. So this is the grey and black with some blue flashes on. Newfangled Lexmoto Diablo in new colours. So it's Euro 5. A great little scooter this one. Everything is on the key. So your seat unlocks on the key. And it is a lockable key on this. So what you do, put your key in there. I've got it running because it's obviously freezing cold. You can see the condensation on the clocks at the moment. 1.3 miles on it at the moment. We're going to go out and we're going to have a run and give this a test ride. So let's have a look at the display on this. Fuel gauge, time, 902 miles. And your speedo is here, no rev counter. And then all your telltales are here. So indicators are there. Main beam, dip beam and your engine management light. All the obligatory functions on it, so horn, indicators, main beam, and a stop and a, a start and a kill switch. Right, mirrors on this, not that bad. You've got an adequate view behind. Now, obviously, I am bulked up. I have my garage jacket. I've got a base layer on. I've got the Nomex on today. I've got my base layer on, t shirt, a shirt my garage jacket, my overalls, and then my red bomb top over the top of that. Um, my big yellow jacket on today, so I'm padded up like a Michelin man today. Let's get the visor down. Let's see how far I get before my pin lock decides to start sucking up the condensation. It is, as I say, decidedly cold. We checked the temp when I left the garage, minus seven, and we got a very, very low sun. So. This is going to be test ride one of two. See how long I go before my hands freeze up. Oh, I wish I had bar heaters at the moment. But this is the newfangled paint job on this, and I like the paint job. Now, we're going to be taking it easy on the corners. It is exceedingly icy. You can see the sheen on the road. It's really, really horrid out today. But needs must, test rides must be done. And it is that cold that the bike doesn't know whether it wants to choke on or off. <laughs> oh, I love it. Now, it's in this sort of conditions that bikes do struggle to run, especially on batteries. Batteries are being killed left, right and centre at the moment. So if you've got an optimizer, stick one on the bike overnight or... Make sure your, bi your bike is kept warm. Cold weather will kill a battery instantly. And we're getting a lot of battery failures. Now an optimizer is probably gonna cost you about 20 quid. You can get it to the Lextech one, which is about 25 quid, or you can go obviously full on Oxford Optimate and get one up on that. Now 42 mile an hour we're doing. Very easy to look down. 12 o'clock is 40 mile an hour on this. So we always say on the uh, speedos, 11, 12, 1, 30, 40, 50, easy to look down, 12 o'clock, yeah, so we do 45 now. We're going to crank some mileage up very, very quickly on this, while I freeze my never regions off. Now, while we're doing that, I can waffle on. So, bike was my GCR was valeted on Monday the valet video is up about 10 minutes long and we had Sam from Valentino Glossy come out and uh, valeted all the bike it's like a brand new bike exhaust pipes are lovely and chromey and shiny back to when I first owned it and obviously I'm still going to be riding it over the winter but not in these weather conditions don't want to be dropping that But, 
I'm looking forward to getting out and showing her off now. Just made me fall in love with the bike all over again. Will I be getting my BMW next year? I'm in two minds now. I love what the, he's done to the GTR. It is oh, so beautiful. And I will never ever get rid of that bike. As I did say when I first got it, it's my forever bike. But I was looking at the second one. And someone said to me, why don't you just mod up the GTR now and just do loads of stuff on the GTR? Because it is going to do what a touring bike does. Yeah, but I wanted the, the bike, an adventure bike, just to get around the dirt lanes. Well, the GTR will do it. So I'm in two minds now. I have been swayed slightly now that the GTR has been cleaned. I may get something else for next year as a second bike. I might even get myself an old one. Or get myself a motocrosser, I don't know yet. So, after having the GTR cleaned, it's all gone a little bit sideways. Check that mirror. Keep my eye on the numpties behind. And it always surprises me in this weather. You're going to slow down a little bit, take your time, watch the corners, brake a little bit earlier, and you still get people hammering down dual carriageways at 80, 90 mile an hour. Let lorry boy in. There we go, give him a little flash. Nope, not interested. Yes, he is. Oh. And my fingers have turned to ice already. Who cares? I've got a nice heater on in the garage when I get back. A lot of our ride team, and we have a WhatsApp group for the ride team and the UK Moto Vloggers, most of the guys are all out riding today. Needs must, they need to get to work, or Peaky's gone out for a as Andy would say, a bimble. That's copyrighted now, courtesy of Andy GSA Tractor. Bimble is copyrighted, you're not allowed to say bimble, unless you pop him 90 quid for every time you say it, so no bimbling about for me. That's twice I've said it, that's 180 quid. Yeah. And as I say, with a BMW, it does everything. four and a bit miles halfway there thank god for that oh i think we're going to do some round town stuff now can't be bothered sitting in the freezing cold at 40 mile an hour jesus christ oh and you can see that road is so so slippy jesus h that sheen on the road and that low sun get the sun visor down that's better might be a bit of wind noise now But, as I say, these run absolutely perfect. The new Diablo colours are great. The bike runs fine. Love the Diablo. A little bit of extra fairing down the front just to keep the wind off of your legs. And I have been told by Lexmoto, scooters are on the way from China. Hooray! Finally! We will have Titans, Diablos, Apollos, Pegasus. Everything is coming for the beginning of next year. So 2023 is going to be a better year for us. And it's not just us, every motorcycle supplier is struggling to get scooters and we are actually looking at taking on a new brand, which would be very, very interesting. So a new brand of bike coming up. I'm going to go across to the side of the car. And then why do you do that? Because if someone comes in brakes hard, I have an escape route if I am watching my mirrors. Always watch your mirrors, guys. Keep your eye on those mirrors. Watch out for the... Uh, Bell end car drivers, as we call them. Just look at the ice. Probably won't pick it up on the camera, but there is a white sheen all over the road. Off to the offside. I'm heading back to the garage. I've got five miles on this. That will do. Jesus, my fingers are dying. Bike's ticking over lovely, though. She likes a bit of warmth on the engine. I think a nice large mug of coffee is in detailed and possibly <laughs> can't even be bothered to go outside for a vape because it's freezing but the dual braking on this is marvellous pulls you down nice and square and as I always say front brake dry day left brake rear brake cold day or icy day or wet day don't go grabbing handfuls of front brake in these road conditions. 
and I am taking it decidedly easy this morning on these little uh, scooter tyres because obviously fresh rubber does not bode well with icy roads and it does make your back end wander a little bit and nothing worse than having your back end wander there's a pun there for our motor vlogger boys that watch this There we go, yet another one in the wrong lane and decided to switch at the last moment because they don't know which lane to be in. But a little thank you to the driver behind. <laughs> oh, God almighty. And that low sun is a killer. Unless you've got a decent sun visor. Why are we all stopping on the roundabout, people? Oh, dear. Fendi Bendy. Let's just uh, prang our car, get out and take photos, everybody. Right, decidedly cautious around here. Yeah, someone's overshot. Oh, what do you expect? It's an Audi. Fender Bender, they'll end of the week. You see it all the time. Get your car moved, mate. Get it out the way. You've taken your photo. Get your car out the way. Oh, visor back down. My face is getting cold. Right, back to the garage we go. Six miles on the bike. A few more to add later this week, my final test ride. Get the other Diablo out. I'm going to warm up a bit, have a cup of coffee, and then get the other Diablo out and freeze my bits off again. If you are riding in these conditions, obviously check your tyre pressure, check your oil, check your lights make sure you've got the right gear on get yourself a decent padded jacket nice pair of heavy duty boots and a pair of jeans is not going to cut it get yourself some decent motorcycle wear you drop a bike in these conditions cold hard road is going to hurt like a bugger so get yourself some decent protection guys and always a full face helmet make sure you're kitted up but do ride safely if in doubt, ask one of the motor vloggers in the group. They will tell you what you should have and what you should be wearing and how to look after your bike over the winter. Obviously, road salt now is going to be the thing. They're going to be out gritting roads. So if you are riding, make sure you're cleaning your bike at least once a week. Get the road dirt off of it. Gently, gently, ooh, little wobble off the back end. Bit of ice on that corner. And avoid drain covers as well. They're going to be killers in this weather. If you've enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, drop a comment. Let us know what you think of the Diablos. Don't forget to check out that Valentino Glossy video and uh, obviously list of all the motor vloggers we follow in the description down below as always but until the next time we're out riding with a very cold frosty Christmassy RB be well ride safe and it's a big freezing goodbye from me